Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of 31 days of cut files. Today is day 20 and we have a circular cut file today that has this light bulb and some gears on it. And I am going to use it kind of to frame this sign of Elko, Nevada. It's in one of the parking lots at a restaurant there that, um, or in the town there near the a restaurant that MK and, um, myself and our husbands met for dinner when we were going, um, when we stopped in uh, last, uh, was that January? I don't know, December? I think it was the week between January and December, I, or not January, <laughs> Christmas and New Year's, somewhere around in there. Anyway, um, it was on our way home from Idaho and we took a, a roundabout way to get home so that we could stop in and visit for with them for a bit. And so I am inking up my cut file. I'm using some Gathered Twig Distress Oxide ink. I'm also using some Dina Wakely Media Gloss Spray in Ancient and in Syrup. And Syrup is the orangier of the two uh, colors there. Um, I really like the way that this ends up looking. I'm going to use some papers that are really in the uh, warm tones to kind of pull out some of the colors in the photos. I am also using this Prima stamp. It's just a bit of text or um, grid, a really tiny grid on my cut file there. I guess I also sprayed a, or spr splattered a little bit of medieval Dina Wakely media gloss, which is black, um, kind of a silvery black. And then I am inking it up a little bit with some walnut stain to give a little bit of depth to some of the areas once it was dry. I did not ink it while it was wet. And then I'm using this old Bow Bunny collection paper. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, you guys. I'm sure it says there right on the tag uh, or on the branding strip what it's called. But uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's very small on my screen, so I can't read it. I apologize for that. So these are the photos that I'm using. I really like that it has a little bit of red in the corners of this paper as well because I've got, we've got some red drinks here. And then um, you've got MK and I in front of this sign that has lots of yellowy oranges in it and red. Uh, this is at a Mexican restaurant that we, we met up at. And then there is green in all the photos too. But I didn't really want to play off the green. I kind of wanted that Elko sign to stand alone by itself um, and have its own um, colors. So it kind of pops off the page a little bit more. But uh, anyway, that's what I'm working with here. I am pulling in some blue because there is some blue in the pictures of, or the two right hand photos, this uh, where the lights are in that uh, photo on the right hand side, it kind of has a blue haze to it. And then same within the photo behind MK, there's a wall that has blue on it. So I am bringing in some blues and I'm just using several pieces from, I believe this is from the Everywhere collection. Um, it's either everywhere or wherever. <laughs> they kind of all start to look the same after a little bit, you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure it is where it is everywhere, though. So I am pulling in several different pieces from there and then layering it up. I really like that big geo tag, so I wanted to incorporate that into my little cut file over on the right hand side. And I really like using the cut file as the framework for the uh, location as to where we were at. And then I'm just going to be layering up lots of little bits, bits and pieces behind our photos. Um, I'm just going straight across the page with this. Um, not really like a band like I did in yesterday's layout, but uh, still in the same placement, but not really completing the whole band across the entire layout. So I'm really liking how this is coming out. I'm just kind of playing with the many different options with uh, from 49 and market uh, their stuff is really easy to layer up and fun to play with so I thought uh, I might as well just go ahead and do that and just enjoy the the time playing with it um, I did use the suitcases in the bottom right or left hand corner um, because we were traveling and I've been looking for a place to use those suitcases for a while so I was really happy to get them on this page although I do have more than just this one set uh, there is a larger stack of suitcases and then there's some single suitcases in slightly different color and um, so 
I, I have lots of options for more suitcases, but I, I don't know why I was like, oh, the suitcases are so cool. I, I got to use them, but, um, but they are, so they are, and I am, <laughs> I'm really happy with the way that, that, that they look. So I am ta uh, tucking this tag in and this other little ticket piece to bring in more of the blue color to this bottom left-hand corner. While I work on my embellishments, I want to remind you that MK and I are both doing videos using the same cut file every day for the month of August. And then uh, we are trying to do lives over as much as possible over in her Facebook, uh, the 31 Days of Cut Files Facebook group. So if you're not part of that, I highly recommend you go and join. Um, you don't have to be using the cut files from the kit that we put together although the kit is still available in her shop if that's of interest to you but you could use your own cut files and just play along with using a cut file every day uh, for this month anyway if you are interested in any of the links for the Facebook group uh, or the products like I said those are down below and I will try to remember to put the product links for the sprays that I used and the media gloss and all of that in case you're interested in it so now that I've got most of my layers done, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing down all my little bits and pieces here. I'm liking the way it's come together so far. And I do have, I do want to put something across where the cut file and the, right where that little dip is that I'm working on right now. I wanted something there and I do kind of want something at the bottom in that same area, but we'll see if I manage to get something there. Um, I did use this best ever piece, even though best ever is probably one of my least favorite things uh, in scrapbooking is like best day ever because, you know, I don't know. It feels like it makes the other days not so, not as good. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, when is it really the best ever? Um, it was a great day. We had a lot of fun and we really enjoyed it. Uh, and it was really great being able to get out there and visit with MK and her husband and uh, kind of we got to go up and see the Ruby Mountains where they live and a little, I think it's called Lamoille Canyon or something like that. Um, yeah, I, it was really fun to be able to go and do that. Um, and both my husband and I enjoyed it and had a great time. So yeah, uh, now I'm just adding some foam dots underneath this piece of chipboard because that geotag is made of chipboard so I want to make sure my blue piece is not going to pop off of the top of the geotag and that it is fully supported on either side and so I just put a little bit of foam dots there so that if it does get pressed upon in my album that it won't just pop off and then I'm going to go ahead and back the entire thing with a piece of white cardstock so, uh, card so it has a nice white ba uh, border all the way around the layout and uh, I do love doing that. I do this on a lot of my layouts. Um, I feel it, it really just completes the layout and creates a nice framework for it. So that's kind of where my thought process is. I did decide to pull out some of the photo corners because I've got quite a few of those in this collection and I never use photo, photo corners, you guys. So I'm trying to make it a point to use some of the things that I don't use very often. So I pulled out photo corners and I also pulled out that camera piece and a car piece and I'm just trying to get some more odds and ends and bits and pieces in there because I have so much of it I need to start getting it on the page and into an album um, and then I really do like the way that the co um, photo corners finishes off this layout and I just put it around the furthest outer corners I didn't do a photo corner for every single photo of or every corner of every photo and I like that because otherwise I think it would be would be way too many photo corners and plus I only had four orange ones um, and I had even less of the navy blue I don't know I, I just couldn't find it in the bin or if it maybe fell out of the packaging and I no longer have it or there is an odd chance that I might have used one on a different layout but I hardly ever use them so I'm just adding this little uh, heart and making sure everything is glued down really well. I did add uh, a butterfly up here at the corner, but I will put a little bit of foam underneath the wings to support the wings, and then the body will be glued directly to the layout just so that uh, it has a little bit of lift in the album and the wings don't end up flat on the page. And then I'm going to just add my ATG to the back of the paper and then try and get it nice and centered on this white cardstock. 
and call it pretty much done. The close-ups will be up in just a few moments here. Oh yes, I did forget. I am going to add a few of these enamel dots and I, I picked the turquoise color, which I know there's not any turquoise on this page except maybe in the foreground of that Elko photo, but I, I think it just adds a little bit of extra interest to it. So I am going to use some of these little enamel dots in those areas. So that is it, you guys. The close-ups are coming up really soon here. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do really appreciate that you guys chose to spend some time with me today. Um, I know there are a lot of creators out there and you have a lot of options. And I very, do feel very honored every time you guys choose to watch one of mine. So thank you for that. Um, don't forget to head on over, check out what MK is doing and check out the Facebook group so that you can uh, participate, play, participate or just get more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Bye-bye.